It's the classic situation. Teacher finds the video online, thinks that um, their learners are going to enjoy it and wants to know how to use it. Um, first of all, the book makes no assumptions about the level of expertise of the teacher. We go into technical issues as well as things about copyright. And once we've got that out of the way and we get to the meat of things, I would say that we approach the content on two levels. Um, the first level is how to deal with video material which is not created specifically for language learning or language teaching. This is often a problem. The danger is that you allow the video to dictate the text and language and even the tasks. So I spend some time in the book getting involved with exploring ways that we can become the master of the material and tame the beast. How to make use of this authentic material, if that's what you want to refer to it as. The second um, part is looking for ways in which we can maximize learner interaction with the medium and get them producing language in response to video or get them processing language from video in, a, in an attempt to acquire it and uh, learn it. Um, so it's always about looking for ways to get learners to interact with the material and one way I, I do that throughout is to make use of a, an easily forgotten resource in this image saturated world and that is the mind's eye. It sounds strange but it's all explained in the book.